During the 2011 Beringia Days held in Nome, a panel comprised of Chukotkan and Alaskan subsistence hunters and scientists discussed their observations of climate change. Paul Opangaluk from Gamble explains the changes people see on St. Lawrence Island and one of them is the change in ice formation. We know that ice pack uh, forms in our area. It, it's not the main pack coming from the north anymore. So we know the uh, ice pack is formed in our area. And uh, it, it's gotten thinner, a lot thinner, and uh, sparse. Apanga look also observes that animal migration patterns change. The pattern is has changed that that we're seeing uh, a mixture of uh, animals occurring simultaneously um, that one year uh, no matter where you look you saw bowheads uh, coming up but at the same time we saw uh, sea lions in the area sea lions normally uh, migrate sooner before the arrival of the bowheads but to see uh, a group of sea lions mixing with uh, whales was uh, unusual. Moose and lynx were never common animals in Chukotka but hunters now see them in the area. People observe sea otters as far north as the Chukchi Sea and hummingbirds were seen on Big Diomed. Apangaluk also observed different marine life around St. Lawrence Island. I think there's more uh, frequency of sharks in our area. Uh, that's not uncommon, but, but uh, a shark was observed uh, killing a sea lion, a bull sea lion. Literally uh, threw it out of the water. And uh, that was uh, really unusual. Uh, another one was uh, taken a few days ago on a net, a fish net. So definitely sharks are more frequent probably in our area. Apangaluk says the ice and weather patterns have changed. The biggest change see is uh, during the springtime. We have uh, uh, shorter time when the ice moves out. Normally it would be around as late as uh, June, late June. But now it just literally moves out uh, overnight in uh, early June, and that that is uh, unusual. Also, uh, the frequency of uh, storms occurring during spring is unusual. Even rain, yeah, it never used to rain until uh, fall. But we're seeing heavy rains in June and July. Asked about the prospect of increased shipping traffic in the Bering Strait, Apangaluk said he is concerned. That's going to probably bring more impact into the area. Um, you, you have to keep in mind that the climate change is uh, it's a natural occurrence. Nature has its own way of taking care of its own. And so uh, our biggest fear is, is uh, man's reaction to this change. Uh, that is going to bring more impact uh, rather than uh, the, the climate change itself. More shipping traffic probably will impact the marine wildlife. It will displace our migratory uh, patterns. It will impact our, our marine mammal migratory patterns. It might, it might not. Any noise and light uh, will impact our game or 
uh, probably upset our normal uh, habitat of our marine mammals. <laughs>